Hey guys, I know I'm a few minutes early. It's Tarot Insights for the week of March 18th, 2024. Let me see if I can get this camera right. There we go. I'm a few minutes early. Pardon me. I'm sure you guys will catch up or catch me on the replay. Um, but I am ready. All right, so last week we forgot, my apologies, I didn't want to forget, and so I've been ready for a while, and that's why we're starting early. All right, so let's see what's up. Oh, happy St. Patty's Day. Let's see what's up for the week of March 18th. All right, so on Monday, we have death upside down. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to live forever, but it means no change. It's kind of a stagnation. Hey, Marty, how you doing? So Monday, we're, it's just going to kind of be a day where not a lot gets accomplished. Don't get frustrated. It's a day where um, not a lot of change. Hey, Lisa, good to see you. All right, let's look at Tuesday. Tuesday, we have the Ace of Wands upside down. Again, it's not a high inspiration day. It's not a high action day. It's definitely Monday and Tuesday are days where we just maybe want to take a little mental recess, a mental break. Hey, Yolanda, glad you could join us. We're just on uh, Tuesday. And again, Monday and Tuesday, we are not looking at a time where creativity is flowing. It's more of a day of rest. Hey, Justine, good to see you. Let's look at Wednesday. Wednesday, we have the tower. Wednesday, you may find poop is hitting the fan, uh, whether it's globally or around here. Maybe that's why Monday and Tuesday, you know, a lot of times when things are going to get a little tough, a lot of us people that are more sensitive to the energies, we just kind of like, I'm not doing anything till this energy, you know, is over. And so probably Monday and Tuesday's lack of forward movement probably has to do with preparing for Wednesday. Now, it doesn't mean everyone's going to have a crummy day Wednesday. Some people might have a fabulous day on Wednesday. Um, but what it means is that Wednesday, things that we thought were solid that may not be for our best or may not be uh, moving us forward in our life could start to crumble. And so usually a tower doesn't hit to take down things that are working well. Usually a tower comes when we procrastinated, we haven't done what we need to do, and the universe is like, look it, I have given you all the hints I can. We're just going to hit you with a two by four and we're going to clear off the rest of the stuff that you're not willing to do. So what do you want to do? Monday and Tuesday, if there's things you've been procrastinating at, get them done so you don't get the two by four. All right, so let's see about Thursday. And Thursday, we have the four of wands. Thursday, it's like, whew, okay, let's go out and play. Let's have some fun. Let's start building. Let's start um, uh, taking step by step and moving forward. And so Monday and Tuesday are preparation for Wednesday. Wednesday is kind of our karmic two by four. Then Thursday, we're ready to get moving again. On Friday, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Energy's back. Things are moving. Watch out for money going out uh, a little bit foolish, or I don't want to say foolishly, but without awareness is probably a better way to word it. But uh, once we get past that tower, it's almost like the pimple had to pop, honey. You know, let's just get going and move on. And then the healing starts. And so that's why we're seeing such a shift on Thursday and Friday. Let's look at Saturday. Saturday, we have the Six of Cups upside down. Saturday, we're not going to be looking forward. We're going to be looking at backwards a bit. I will say, though, watch out for reminiscing in a way that's not healthy on Saturday. And Sunday, we have the Two of Wands upside down. What I would say is there's a lot of energy this week. Sunday, we may be looking at I can't worry about the minutia. I have to look at long-term plans, long-term goals, right? So Monday, not a lot happening. Deaths reversed, it means stagnation. Things aren't moving. Uh, sometimes that can be good. If things are moving too fast for you, maybe you'll enjoy Monday. Tuesday, we have the Ace of Wands upside down. We're not feeling passionate and excited about things, and it probably is because many of us are feeling that under uh, rumble for Wednesday. Wednesday is the, the tower Wednesday 
Wednesday's the day where poop's gonna hit the fan. Not for everyone, but if you've been procrastinating, it might be for you. Thursday, it's like the pimples popped, excuse the expression, but you know what I mean, healing can begin. And Thursday, we're off um, manifesting and we're, we're starting to um, move forward again. Friday, where energy is building, watch out though for spending a lot of money. Friday, energy is building. Saturday, we're, we're down in our dumps a little bit. And just be careful because we could get carried away with that emotion. And then Sunday, we're like, look it. I can't worry about the day-to-day. -day. I have to do some long-term planning. And so Sunday, you may want to look at, instead of your one-week goal, maybe your one-month goal. Or if you're looking planning ahead for the next month, maybe the next three months, you may find that it's easier than dealing with the short-term. All right, guys. Well, next Sunday, will we still be here? Yes, we will. Next Sunday will be our last Sunday in the Dominican. So then we'll be back to seeing you from Virginia Beach. All right, we'll see you next week. <sighs> Remember, breathe and don't procrastinate this week. All right, bye-bye.